All right, hey, welcome back. My name is Tom Clayson. This is my third volume as to how I've been teaching some PE games online. Let's get started. So kicking off this one, this is Guess Who Food. Many of you have probably played Guess Who before. Um, this is a food version. Here's some instructions. So basically how to play, it's a guessing game. I'm gonna give some clues as to some mysterious foods that are, you know, just things that I thought the kids might know of. So obviously right here, this is a carrot, but as I click through this activity, you're gonna notice it gives a couple different clues or ideas, maybe different vitamins and why it's good for you. So not only do they recognize the shape and they can get started with the activity right away, but they can also learn as they go. So this one is good for your eyes. Again, this one's pretty simple. Probably not potatoes, definitely some bananas, high in potassium, and some lower water content. And that's right, bananas. This one I just tried to throw in a little bit of humor. Definitely not a hot dog. But again, with just some different clicks, it is a little bit more entertaining as we uh, play this game. This one's a new one I just tried out. Um, this one's called Picket Fitness. And again, this is just with a couple different items. To me, honestly, this is more of a this or that style of game, but with a uh, little bit of a twist, so the kids will pick which one is their favorite and do the activity. Again, fish or bird, which one's your favorite, and get some more games. I would say a campfire is probably better than a movie. Next activity that I have available is an I Spy game. This is something I used in a video actually on the channel. Um, if you want to check that out, feel free. But this is just an iSpy game. Again, this is something that's pretty simply made. Um, just use some Google Slides and um, play along. So this one is iSpy Snowman. You have to find the exact match. And then the kiddos are able to do the activity based on the gifts available. Um, if you've not checked out my gift video, definitely check that out. Um, I feel like it's a very important thing that everybody should be able to do. Um, create your own. Show the kids the skills that you've been working on and uh, show them that you're being active just as much as they are. So again, here's uh, another couple gifts. And I try to throw in some of my buddies here every once in a while because I uh, just think his bear crawl is just as good as it could be. So the last thing I wanted to share with you guys today was how I use stations online. Now, earlier in one of the other videos, I was able to share with you how I use juggling. It seemed to work well, so I challenged myself, tried out using a ball, a paper plate, a towel, and a stuffed animal. Now, I was able to give this information out to kids a week in advance and post a couple times in the stream so they knew what to bring. And also, as you can see here, I played a little bit of a freeze dance game. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ones available online. This one was one that I made. Um, but again, this is something that I just feel is great for everybody to use in between. So I played this freeze dance game. I said, hey, go get these four items if you do not have it yet. And then um, the kids who had it were able to get active and the kiddos who didn't and grab the equipment and then jump back into the game with us. Uh, so the first game or first station that we we're able to do, I tried out a couple different catching challenges using two hands, using you know high and low toss, uh, favorite to opposite, clap to catch, uh, toss and turn, and uh, any of the ones that kiddos liked as well. Um, this was kind of cool because the kiddos, I could see how much they enjoyed this. This was pretty quick. And honestly, they didn't need a ball to do this. They could use their towel or stuffed animal in this station as well. Uh, the fitness randomizer is something I have available on the channel. You know, it's something that I'm going to just go ahead and click this play button for you so you can kind of get an idea how I use it. Basically, I let the kiddos come on and have you know a little conversation with me. I can check check in with them, see how their day is, and, um, you know, I can see which activity they want to pick. So some will try to wait and see what comes up, and some just say click or stop. And, um, you know, this is just a great way to get everybody into the game and get active. I've used this as a warm-up, and I've used this as a station successfully so far. One of the other stations I found that was really awesome was this ball bouncing station. Again, if you've not checked out any of my gift videos, I highly encourage you to do that. Um, as far as using the towel, some of the kiddos use a towel, some of the kiddos use a paper plate, which was another item that was available. A couple of kiddos use a stuffed animal as a target to bounce the ball towards. Um, a couple of kiddos actually use was creative and used the paper plate as a bullseye within the towel. I thought that was pretty cool. So again, just something else to try out. Uh, one of the last ones I want to talk about was our paper plate challenge. 
Um, this one was cool. It was able to work on some striking. And again, check out the video on the gifts. Those are awesome, especially if you're in limited space. You can show the kids what you need them to do, and then you can work on calling them out, shouting them out, and giving them some encouraging words. So I think that's all I have for this video. Smash that like button if you thought you found something that was helpful. Thanks, and stay active.